Hi, this is Phil Stone. We're going to talk about posting a link. Some real simple rules to get the best results. You find them everywhere. YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, web pages, MySpace, emails, Facebook, all over the World Wide Web. You'll find links that someone wants you to click on without telling you where you're going to wind up. Click on this link. Looks okay? Will a pot of gold be waiting for you? Or will it be Jack? You really don't know. So why not play it safe and leave the link alone, right? Well, that's not going to help you if you're posting links. If you're posting links that you want people to click on, here are some very basic rules that will help you get some great results. Number one, write out a description of your link. Where you're going to go, where you're going to send them, what it's going to be all about. I mean, tell them what they'll find when they click on it. Remember, they want to know what benefit they can expect by investing their time. Now think about this, and you'll remember future benefit forever. Ever buy one of these? When really, what you wanted was one of these? And if you could, you'd buy a box of these, wouldn't you? I mean, really, nobody wants a drill bit. They want the hole that results. That's the point. They don't want the feature. They want the benefit. People don't want features. They want benefits. So you need to make sure that you always spell out what the benefits are so they'll be inspired to go and click on your link. And then give them an idea how much time they're going to need to invest. If you've got an article that you've written or a report, tell them how many words or how many pages it is. If it's a video, tell them how many minutes it runs. And number three, if you're sending them to a product on a web page deep inside your site, give them a direct link to that page. Don't send them to your landing page and hope they figure out how to find what they want. And by the way, when it comes to URL shorteners, there are times to use them and times not to use them. I mean, there are dozens, by the way, of these free services. You can do a Google search and find them all over the place. Now, this is an example. This is an actual URL to an inside web page, something that you'd want to give somebody if you wanted them to go directly to that page. Well, imagine putting that on your copy or, or on, your, on your email. I mean, it's huge. It's intimidating. It's not something that you want to give somebody to click on, but that's the actual address to a spe specific page. Well, here it is after shortening it. Bang. Went to twirl, shortened that right up. There you go. That will get you to the exact same place. So that's a perfect example of a, an instance when you want to do this. I mean, if it's a long address that would be intimidating, well, shorten it. Or if you have space constraints, like you would on a, an ad or on Twitter, shorten it. But if your URL is descriptive, like www.maketonsofmoney.com, or builds your brand, like www.philstoneisagreatguy.com, well, try to always use the full URL. That's the basics. I mean, it's really simple. And now that we've gone through these simple rules, watch how often you see people on the Internet who are breaking them, who aren't benefiting by just those simple little things. So keep these rules in mind whenever you're posting links anywhere. And then you'll watch your click-through rate go up. Now, if you want more tips how to market on the Internet, go to www.powerlinetraining.com, and you'll find me, Phil Stone. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye-bye.